it was 35 days ago when we have planted this corn. The variety of this corn is uh, the Decalb 8282. And we have uh, already applied uh, fertilizer twice. We have already applied or sprayed uh, foliar twice. And if you want to know what we have done here, watch the video till the end so that you will learn how to produce, how to make your corn grow faster. Hello, welcome to Take Pop-Up, the smart learner channel. We educate intelligent farmers and provide effective solutions to your problems. Gumagamit po ba kayo ng maraming inorganic fertilizer? Asidik din po ba ang inyong lupain? Mabagal bang lumaki ang inyong mga halaman? Panahon na po para pagandahin at pababain yung paggamit ng inorganic fertilizer. Kayo po na nag-organic, pwede po ninyong gamitin ito. Kayo po na natatakot sa mga insecticide, natatakot sa mga uh, iba't iba pang mga chemical na inilalagay sa halaman, pwede po sa inyo ito. Tayo po ay gumagamit ng probiotics o itong lactobacillus lactic acid. Ito po ay nagpapaganda o binabalik niya yung ganda ng lupa. Binubulok po niya ng madalas o mabilis yung mga uh, pwedeng bulokin sa lupa kagaya ng mga dahon yung mga rice straw pinapabilis po nito ang pagbubulok at ang ginagawa po niya ay yung mga binubulok po ay ginagawa po niyang amino acid na yung amino acid ay uh, nagtataglay ng nitrogen at ang nitrogen ay nagpapaganda sa ating halaman para ito ay mabilis lumaki at magaganda malalaki po ang bunga so subukan po ninyo itong ating probiotics itong ating 3K fertilizer at para gumanda ang inyong halaman at may balik yung dating matabang lupa last week we have sprayed it with the the bibitol power grower and mixed with the chelated calcium so that it will go grow firm and it will resist the strong winds so that it will not going to break or or, or uh, fall down so this corn is about uh, 35 days we have ups, uh, uh, sprayed uh, herbicide here uh, when it's about 18 days we also apply the first fertilizer when it is not yet germinated as you have uh, as you can see in the video uh, what we have done here before the seeds will be germinated and finally grow uh, we uh, apply the first fertilizer and that is uh, pure nitrogen and after applying fertilizer because uh, there's no rain here in uh, here in this part of philippines during uh, december to uh, may uh, there there's seldom rain here so that's why we need to irrigate this one with the, the irrigation or uh, water coming from deep well Usually, if there's no rain, we irrigate this uh, six to seven times to achieve the full growth and uh, to have uh, that maximum yield and weight of this uh, to to gain the uh, the desired weight of this uh, yellow corn. Uh, here in the Philippines, we usually uh, plant uh, here in our part. We usually plant uh, corn twice. Uh, we planted it uh, like in my area. I planted it uh, first uh, during the month of November, then harvesting it during the month of uh, March. Or the 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 the, the, port, the port week of March or to uh, the first uh, week of uh, April. Uh, then after harvesting it. We immediately plant 
this uh, corn again but uh, for this uh, for this year I have uh, planted this uh, decal 8282 first this decal 8282 is at, uh, at, at uh, is affected by all army worm as you can see in this video there are some leaves that are being affected uh, affected by fall army worm so that's why I sprayed prebaton here twice uh, the during the one the uh, when uh, 40 days come I will spray again prebaton heavyweight and that chelated calcium that heavyweight will make this corn heavier in weight so that uh, uh, I will be assured that the weight of this corn will be heavier and i will achieve uh, uh, more more weight and more gain here if the grains are heavier the height of this corn is about four four feet for uh four and a half feet so uh it is uh now time for this one to be sprayed with the last uh polyol fertilizer so that uh I, I will not be affected by the mist coming from the spray of the uh, sprayer that will I'll be, be I will be using. So uh, this is the this is my eye level. So you can see that uh, the corn is very high already. At 35 days, the uh, I have already achieved this height of this corn. So the the corn continue to grow fast because of that. Uh, fertilizer and especially the 3k fertilizer that uh, that i applied here the uh, the the leaves is spread you know, very big and their canopy is too wide uh, uh, i just uh, uh, make it sure that uh, this corn will go, will, will uh, bear bigger ear because uh, I have applied that uh, 3K fertilizer twice already. The 3K fertilizer contain microorganisms that sustain the fertility and refreshes the soil. So that's why the, our, my soil here, because I'm only the one using it, my soil here is more filter, fertile compared to the soil uh, of my neighbor who has this corn already flowering i will show you uh, my corn when it will be flowering and i'm uh, i'm sure that this my corn will be much higher than this corn of my neighbor because my, the corn of my neighbor uh, doesn't apply with any foliar fertilizer so that's why you can see the difference if you are using foliar fertilizer one one uh, one uh, evident that the corn applied with uh, polyar fertilizers is better. I can see few abnormality in the growth of corn that are applied with polyar, polyar fertilizer. While other corn that are not applied with polyar fertilizer, though they are, uh, uh, they are applied with the fertilizer earlier, and irrigate earlier still their growth are are not uh, are not uh, the same there are uh, corn that grow bigger and there are con corn that are still uh, smaller that is because um, maybe the amount of the fertilizer that is being applied to those so uh, corn are not the uh, same or some of them are not applied with but here because we use that uh, uh, polyol fertilizer uh, the corn that are not uh, applied with uh, the the uh, uh, organic fertilizer side dress if they are sprayed with the uh, polyol fertilizer they uh, grow normally they uh, come or come up or cope up with the with the with other corns that grow taller and bigger so that's why you, you could you could uh, see and observe here in my corn that all of them are have the same height 
they are flat uh, they, uh, uh, what they call we can say the flat top of this uh, flat top of this corn uh, plantation because we use uh, polyar fertilizer and that's uh, uh, that, uh, that is the secret why that's one secret why my corn is uh, uh, bigger and uh, if you can see has more normal corn normal because uh, the the stock of my corn are uh, uniform you cannot see uh, smaller stocks that they are uniform why because all of them are applied with polyar fertilizer and polyar, polyar fertilizer help them help them grow healthier and bigger and they grow normally as i said uh, earlier because that polyar fertilizer contains microorganism that are not given or that are not supplied in the uh, side dress fertilizer normally the side dress fertilizer contain only uh, phosphorus potassium and nitrogen while the polyar fertilizer contains microorganisms calcium magnesium and other essential elements that, that, that the corn need and or the corn not only the corn plant needs in growth so that's why uh, uh, starting from there uh, we have uh, we came uh, we started there until here you can see you can see that uh, my corn plantation is flat flat top <coughs> and you cannot see any small is any small corn that has small stocks all of them has uh, uniform stock and uh, they are uh, tall because of that foliar fertilizer that is being applied uh, this part is often uh, planted with corn the uh, the uh, the the front part no last year i planted that with vegetable this one was uh, planted with with corn uh, last year so i observed that uh, uh, the uh, the nutrients to this uh, portion of my field is lesser so uh, what i will do i will be applying more 3k fertilizer here to supply it with uh, more a microorganism because microorganism helps the plant rejuvenate or helps the plant uh, refresh so that uh, it will uh, the, the microorganism that will be applied here will work will uh, uh, make the soil more fertile because uh, as you know microorganisms helps a lot in producing uh, several uh, elements that could help the plant in growth no. so uh, that is my neighbor's uh, uh, corn we uh, we planted at the same time at the same day but that corn is smaller that it, that corn is nk6410 bip that corn is protected from pow why my while, while my corn is not protected from pole army worm as you can see there are indications that it was attacked by Paul Armyworm. But there's no problem. I have already sprayed it with Prebaton. That, that, that Prebaton is expert in worms. So, in the first time that uh, the, the first spray of polyar fertilizer, I applied that Nimbesidin and Delta King. But uh, that Nimbesidin and Delta King doesn't, grow, doesn't affect uh, much in the eradication of that uh, insect so that's why uh, during the second spray i applied prey button so that uh, the, the insects will not uh, develop resistance so when you apply uh, insecticide a, to, a, to any plant uh, rice corn vegetables do not use insecticide uh, three times use uh, insecticide in the maximum of twice only so that the insects will not develop resistant because if the, the insects develop resistant they will not be affected by any uh, uh, insecticide even that is insecticide is so strong uh, like uh, the, the the stem borer the fall army worm 
No? So if you apply uh, insecticide, uh, I recommend that use only one to two times only, then change it with uh, more uh, uh, higher uh, or higher dosage or uh, more uh, insecticide that has uh, more uh, that is strengthened or uh, is, uh, more potent than uh, the, the, the previous uh, insecticide that you use so that it will going to kill or eradicate insects. So this is what I can tell you uh, about uh, uh, corn production. So if you need to uh, learn more, uh, be updated, just go back uh, to our channel. Uh, it is important that you subscribe here so that you will be updated because from time to time the uh, the application the the systems of uh, farming change no uh, there's no uh, there's no permanent uh, solution and because uh, uh, every day there's change the the uh, the the activity change the uh, the technology change, the variety change. So there's also change of application, change of uh, change of an insecticide, change of uh, uh, polyar, or uh, uh, I should say uh, the the application depend uh, on on what the plant needs. So. You can you can observe in my previous video, the first video that I, up, I have uploaded, what I said there is different from the things that I'm saying now. It is because the the uh, the the, uh, the uh, not not only the climate, but uh, things change, variety change, and uh, situation change. Uh, like like before. Uh, there, the, before uh, the, 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 we have BT corn and that BT corn was not affected by this uh, corn borer and other worms but uh, uh, Paul army worms arrives in the Philippines and Paul army worms affects every uh, corn that are uh, produced here so even the BIP one was affected with Paul army worm only it is, is, is small in, it is, is small in number but uh, uh, Paul army worm uh, affect our uh, corn during the stage of uh, 20 to 35 days so we need to protect them at that uh, age of corn so uh, come again uh keep on checking our uh, uploads and it's very it's so good if you subscribe and click the notif notification bell so that you will be notified whenever we have a uh, new video that is being uploaded thank you so much for watching god bless uh, please share our video if you think this is important for other farmer to know